Good afternoon or good morning to everybody, depending on where you are. And thanks so much for joining us today for our webinar. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and HomeBasedTravelAgent.com, I want to welcome all of you and thank you so much for being with us today. We are very excited to welcome back as our host today, Fathom Travel. We really appreciate the support we all get from Fathom and thank them for that. Today's topic is Fathom's Social Impact Cruises to the Dominican Republic. Our speaker for Fathom is Michelle Sutter, Director of Trade Sales. Michelle started her career in the cruise industry as an international ambassador after graduating university with a degree in Spanish and Latin American studies. A 15-year cruise veteran, Michelle has worked across brands like Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean, and most recently, Holland America and Seaborn. Michelle joined Fathom as a senior sales leader responsible for increasing market share by working with travel professionals and was promoted to director of trade sales shortly after her arrival. In her spare time, Michelle plays on three soccer teams, works with refugees in her home country of Canada, and is inspired daily by witnessing random acts of kindness. Before we get started, please remember that you are all muted, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area on the right-hand panel of your screen. At the end of the presentation, we will get to as many questions as we can. Also at the end of the presentation, Michelle will be giving away three amazing prizes, three cruises for two to the Dominican Republic. We will be giving you more details about this prize a little bit later, so stay tuned. And a little hint, you may want to take a lot of notes during this presentation today, and we certainly thank Fathom in advance for this very generous offer. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Michelle so she can get started. Welcome back, Michelle. Thank you so much, and hello, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation on our social impact cruises to the Dominican Republic. Here, you know, here at Fathom, we love to talk about what we're grateful for, and I think it's only fitting that I begin the presentation by expressing how grateful Fathom is for the opportunity to speak to all of you today. We are truly appreciative of your commitment to educating and engaging your clients with the Fathom experience. Earlier this year, I was fortunate enough to sail to the Dominican Republic with a group of amazing travel partners and my special guest, my nine-year-old daughter, Ciela. So I'm very excited to have this opportunity to share my exper experiences with all of you today as I take you through this life-changing journey. At Fathom, we believe it is possible to change lives through travel. And we also believe that to discover, we need to be open and to make ourselves available to share. And when we share, we understand. And when we understand, we all grow. And at Fathom, we created opportunities for open hearts and minds to connect and fully immerse in the travel experience. We don't just show you a culture. We bring you deep inside to understand it and experience it firsthand. Traveling with Fathom gives you the opportunity to dive deeply into the diversity of your surroundings and encounter the people who inhabit them full time. We don't introdu just introduce you to people. We start conversations that lead to amazing things. And we don't just show you the world. We give you the chance to help grow its future and be more than a visitor and become a friend. At Fathom, traveling is more than seeing and doing. It's about connecting and immersing yourself in new things, sharing stories and engaging with locals and fellow travelers on a personal level that transcends culture or language and turns complete strangers into friends. The slide you see featured here is my nine-year-old daughter, Ciela, that I told you had joined me earlier this year um, on a voyage to the Dominican Republic. We were participating in an impact activity um, laying cement floors, which I'll speak to you about in, in a few moments, um, in one of the rural villages in the Dominican Republic. And the little girl you see on the left-hand side approached um, us and asked if, if Ciela would like to come and join her and play. And they spent the afternoon uh, playing. And this was an, an experience that, you know, we never would have had in any other travel um, experience. And, and to this day is, is something that's very special, not only to Ciela, but to, to myself as well. Travelers who choose Fathom journeys are change makers, who are themselves forever changed by the lives they touch and the lingering gifts they leave behind. As I mentioned, 
you know, that was just one experience that Ciela and I had during our travels to the Dominican Republic. But these are experiences that our travelers are having every day um, and every journey as we travel to the Dominican Republic. Travel can and should have meaning, and we believe that together we can make it meaningful. The places you go and the things you do there reflect who you are and shape who you become. And because when you get down to the root of it, travel is all about exploration and discovery. And on Fathom Journeys, you do more than visit the world, you embrace it. And at Fathom, we believe we travel differently and that this form of travel is really connecting with the people and people are truly engaged and so very pleased with the travel experience they have with Fathom. Our vision is our ultimate destination is to reach our greatest human potential and changing lives through travel for generations to come. So how does Fathom get you to this meaningful destination of the Dominican Republic? On board your home at sea is the Adonia. Our magnificent 704 passenger ship is both elegant and intimate with all the amenities you'd expect of a first class 21st century passenger ship. Our ship, the Adonia, is our impact playground and a true jewel box. She's just over 30,000 tons and was originally built under Renaissance in 2001 as the R8 and sailed briefly as the Royal Princess before settling in with our sister brand, P&O UK. You would also be familiar with the Adonia sister ships, which currently sail with Azamara and Oceana. The Adonia was refurbished in 2011, and she was fathomized in March of 2016. What does fathomize mean? Well, we added slight touches to the already beautiful decor that we believed would help us create a community of like-minded travelers on board. Choosing to be part of something this big still means you can feel cozy and connected. One of the greatest advantages of shipboard travel, as you know, is you unpack once and you're done. You're free to spend the next seven days concentrating on what really matters. And we have kept things very simple with our cabin categories. We only have four categories of staterooms, insides, outsides, balconies, and suites. What you see is what you get. There are no subcategories. So it's very simple, not only for yourselves, but for our travelers to decide how they want to travel. There are 42 interior staterooms on the ship. So if you're looking to book four in a stateroom, please note that interiors are the only category to accommodate a quad, and we only have eight quads on board. Our outside cabins have picture windows with the exception of a handful that have a porthole. And we do not sell obstructed outside cabins. They are priced out as inside cabins. And our balconies are 214 square feet and take up more than 60% of our allotment. We have 10 spacious suites that range from 756 to 929 square feet. Your choice of world-class dining and lounges, uh, dining, lounges, and bars are available on the Adonia. We have a specialty restaurant on board uh, called the Ocean Grill, which offers an exceptional menu with a selection from land and sea, which is inspired by local Cuban and Dominican dishes and created by our award-winning chef, Emil Vega. The minimal surcharge is $25 per person for dinner and $15 per person for lunch. We also have um, dining venues that are not limited to the specialty restaurant, which can include our conservatory, which is our buffet restaurant located on the Lido deck and is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there's also an outdoor dining section, which is the perfect spot for enjoying your morning coffee or perhaps a nightcap. And we also have our Pacific restaurant, which is the main dining room, which is also open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's important to note that at Fathom, our travelers have the flexibility to dine when they like and with whom they like. So we do not have set seating times or assigned sitting. Our dress code is casual and we do not have formal nights allowing our travelers to always feel relaxed. We also have, as you see here, a cozy library where you can curl up with a good book or gift shops filled with authentic treasures. Our Mayfair shops provide an onboard shopping experience through a selection of brands that are making a positive impact in the world. 
Bahalia, Shinola, and Wewood, and even the Body Shop are just some of the socially responsible brands found within these shops. On deck or inside your stateroom, from bow to stern, the atmosphere on the Adonia is warm and lively, and every bit as special as a jewel-like ocean itself. And by yourself or with others, there's always somewhere to relax or re-energize, including the full-service spa and gym, which you see featured here. Somewhere to explore, interact, or simply be. The ship is honestly beautiful. Um, it's small, it's intimate, and it fosters a community-like neighborhood feel on board, allowing our travelers not only to connect with their fellow travel companions, but with their fellow travelers as well. At Fathom, every moment of your journey is as meaningful as the magnificent destination of the Dominican Republic. Our onboard people and programs are designed to connect you with your personal power and fulfill your deepest desires to give back. You having the best time of your life, fulfilling your most meaningful purpose, this is what deep travel is all about at Fathom. And Fathom's impact guides promise to take you there. Some of our guides have backgrounds as psychologists, artists, sociologists, dancers, anthropologists, or even professional bon vivants, while others have worked on the ground with charities and non-government um, organizations all over the world. As inspiring as your desire is to give back, these wonderful individuals are on board with you all the way, preparing you for an unforgettable land experience. And they truly make that experience so unique and unforgettable. Whether it's teaching useful Spanish phrases in our Focus Language program, or sowing new seeds of friendship with local people, or planting new seedlings to the forest in the, in the precious Dominican Republic. As diverse as our impact guides are, they all share one uncompromising passion, and it's about inspiring you to make the world a better place for everyone. And if you think having impact guides is innovative, wait until you hear about the experience of our onboard program. Thoughtfully designed in collaboration with our world-class partners, our innovative programming fully integrates life on board with life on land. On board, life promises to engage, entertain, educate, and energize you for more full-on fun on land. We'll start off with a kickoff party, Fathom Launch, which sets the trajectory for the week ahead, filled with music and interactive fun. You can even learn the, fa the Fathom Shuffle. You'll enjoy cocktails and snacks as you get to know each other. As your journey begins, you will reveal insights from the Fathom journey before you in, message in a, messages in a bottle. We also have a superpower party on board, which is unleashing your inner greatness through unrestrained fun. And your first two days at sea, you're encouraged to participate in our core programs, such as the How to Be a Fathom Traveler, which teaches you what to expect, how to understand your role on land, how to fit comfortably into this new situation, and more. This orientation provides you with the valuable insights, tools, and knowledge to help you get the most of your journey when you reach the Dominican Republic. We also have onboard entertainment activities, which include our big favorite, which is our wine and paint night, Domino Throwdown, Caribbean Craft Making, Mojito and Flan Movie Night, Salsa Dance Classes, and a Mojito Cocktail Class. We also have Sunrise Yoga and Breaking Dawn Dance-a-thons, which will kick off your day, and Guided Relaxation, which recharges your body and mind at the day's end. The Outdoor Game Night and Classic Board Games are fun for your competitive spirit, and our onboard music features local Dominican musicians when we're in the Dominican Republic and music during our stay. As part of the holistic experience that defines a Fathom journey, all of our entertainment options are related to the destination we visit and our focus on playful engagement, um, the collective impact of the power of we is so very important to Fathom. We have a blend of relaxing and playful informal onboard programs, which include our social innovation programs on how to become a change maker in your own life, in the lives of your families and communities, in the world we live in. We also have storytelling programs, which are interactive and designed for fun and self-expression. And there are four impact sessions that help our Fathom travelers fine-tune their stories so they can share their experiences in the Dominican Republic with their friends and family when they come home and our discovery programs, which are focused on awakening a new sense of wonder as Fathom travelers discover hidden passions and talents 
can, that can help bring them together. And all of these workshops were designed in collaboration with the Stanford University. If reading is your passion, you can even join our Fathom Book Club. Or for those of you who want to turn photos into visual stories, you can share with friends through social media. Our hands-on visual storytelling session covers all the technical skills you'll need. Also included with each impact journey, travelers are given the choice of up to three land impact activities, which are designed to make sustainable contributions to the Dominican Republic. From the beginning to the end, each Fathom journey to the Dominican Republic is a seamless experience integrating onboard impact program with your online impact activities. These trips are designed for lasting, sustainable impact. In fact, on your trip home to Miami, Miami, we even show you how to discover and bring your deep travel experience home in a special session called You and Beyond. In this special session, you have the opportunity to share your discoveries with others to define next steps and resources and plan how to stay connected with each other after, after the journey ends. Now, as you may know, Fathom has two distinct journeys. We have our social impact cruises to the Dominican Republic, which we'll be covering today. And we also have our cultural exchange cruises to Cuba. Both are destined for your deepest desires. From launch to landing, both promise you a full immersion experience in the culture, history, and geography of your destination. Our social impact cruise to the Dominican Republic is a transformative experience that combines people's love of travel with their desire to make a difference. And our cultural exchange cruise to Cuba is a culturally immersive journey that connects our travelers with the people of Cuba. Today, as I mentioned, we'll be sharing with you the social impact travel experience in the Dominican Republic that we believe unleashes human potential and truly provides a joyful experience for not only our travelers, but also the people of the Dominican. Sailing after sailing, we witness how the Fathom experience is creating an intimate, rich community where travelers share their humanity and spirit of joyful abundance with one another. Our vision of changing lives through travel comes to life on our forward-looking journey to the Dominican Republic. These impact journeys give travelers the personal opportunity to immerse themselves in the local culture alongside local families in Puerto Plata. This country is well known for its all-inclusive resorts and bustling southern capital, but Fathom Journeys take you into the hidden gem of Puerto Plata, which is located on the northern coast of the Dominican Republic, as you see here. When the Adonia arrives at Amber Cove, you have four glorious days to spend doing whatever you love most. And this is the part of the world it, that boasts an endless variety of ways to discover, connect, and have fun exploring the landscape or relaxing in the cove. This is a place, excuse me, of exquisite beauty. With 60 miles of turquoise coast, coastline, lush mountain ranges, friendly locals, and a vibrant culture, it's not a surprise that Travel and Leisure Magazine named it as one of the world's best places to travel to in 2015. Newly opened in 2015, Amber Cove is the gateway to the Caribbean. Built on 25 acres, this is a lively village Features which features local cuisine, artists, a complimentary swimming pool for our travelers to take advantage of, water slides, a zip line, and local shopping, and more. We also have here um, cabanas over the water, hillside cabanas and poolside cabanas, which are available to our travelers to rent um, at an additional cost for two or also for large group events. On board and on land, our Fathom journey to the Dominican Republic promise to make more than holiday memories. You'll make lifelong friendships and sustainable contributions to the lives of the locals. On land, we have eight impact activities that support the three core pillars of social and economic development, environment, and education in the Dominican Republic. Travelers have the opportunity to participate in these three impact activities of their choice, and these three impact activities are included in the price of the cruise. Although the Dominican Republic is a country of great beauty, it's also a country of great need. With over 40% of the population living below the poverty line and the average household income being $6,000 US and over 2 million people not having access to potable water, there is a substantial amount 
of opportunity to make an impact. And the wonderful thing is, is that the Dominican Republic has the infrastructure to be able to make an impact. We're going to begin by learning about the impact activities centered around supporting the economic development of the communities in the Dominican Republic. We have identified uh, two local women's cooperatives that we are working alongside to increase their productivity and long-term income, which will empower them to employ more local Dominican women. The women of Repapel, which you see featured here, one of the women from Repapel, have created an association whereby they create and sell arts and crafts from locally recycled paper. And their story is a local inspiration, as all of these women previously worked as housemaids, which took them away from their village during the week. Now that they've created a successful business that's employing women, and it's allowing them to support their families and live in their hometown. In addition to participating in the entire paper-making recycling process, our travelers will have the opportunity to create new products for sale for these women. And what's important to note here is that what makes this impact activity so very engaging and popular with our travelers are the connections they have with these women. This is one of our highest rated impact activities simply because of the spirit, love, and joy that these women have and that our travelers are able to connect with. The Women's Cooperative of El Chocal has created a business similar to that of Ripapel, but this is where they're growing cacao and hand make artisanal organic chocolate. Our travelers will participate in the complete production cycle from sorting the cacao beans, cleaning the chocolate nib, and packaging the final product for sale. Travelers' direct impact helps the company grow and thrive because as their monthly revenue and production increases, this will empower the women to employ more local women. Now we'd like to share with you the impact activities that support the pillar of education. On a national level, young Dominicans face an almost insurmountable obstacle to academic success. And one of the skills most in demand by local employers is basic English because of the fact that the tourism industry is their number one source of employment. However, a shortage of trained English teachers and lack of academic support at home make a formalized English learning curriculum difficult to sustain. So during the school year, the Fathom Travelers will have the opportunity to work with both teachers and students on activities designed to create interest and excitement in the learning process and aid in language retention. And they will engage in games, simple vocabulary lessons, and small group conversations that provide much needed confidence. This is one of the impact activities that I participated in with my nine-year-old daughter. And this was one that was so very impactful because she had the opportunity to share something that, of course, she's always you know, taken perhaps for granted or not realized how valuable it was, is, is being able to speak English. And her um, ability to interact with the children in sharing her knowledge in our specific case, you know, we, we as at Fathom provide the curriculum. And we have a book. Um, that week over week our travelers uh, present to the students. And on our arrival, we were working on the days of the week. And so it was sharing the pronunciation and how to read the days of the week with the children. And so Ciela, who's nine years old, was sharing this information with children her, her same age. And so not only were they learning from one another, but they were also connecting and they were relating. And, and the little girls were asking my daughter how she made her hair so straight because the girls in the Dominican Republic in this classroom, all their hair was really curly. And so they were, they were mesmerized with each other's hair. And, and it was truly a joyful experience, not only to be sh able to share our knowledge, but also to be able to connect with these children. And I have to say to you that these children are so engaged so excited to learn and truly wanting to be there and so very grateful. So it's such an, an amazing experience for our travelers um, during this impact activity. For our Fathom travelers that are sailing with us during the summer months, uh, they can still help students succeed academically. Travelers can take part of an innovative summer program called our CAMS. They're like summer camps, which are designed to develop creativity, athletic ability, and life skills in a safe and fun environment. So this well-planned program includes joint dramatic uh, presentations, as well as hands-on arts and crafts activities and sports and nutrition. 
one of the favorite activities during this um, land impact activity is where the students and the travelers will actually make soccer balls out of newspapers and then have a game of soccer. And again, all of these um, activities are conducted in English, allowing for the students to continue to practice their English over the summer months to ensure that they are um, benefiting from all of this interaction with native English speakers. So if you can imagine, the regular school year would perhaps provide them with one hour of English a week with one teacher to 30 or 40 students, whereas now they have you know, two to three hours a week with travelers one-on-one -on -one, that are native English speakers. And we still have the teachers that are engaged in the teaching process, so we're not replacing any jobs, but we are allowing for more one-on-one -on -one interaction and again with that native English, um, inter native English speaking interaction. With the increased demand for bilingual speakers in the growing tourism industry in the Dominican Republic, there's also a great need for programs that support adult English learning. So our Fathom Travelers will also be able to participate in community English conversation and learning activities that help bolster employment opportunities for the lower income adults. These small group programs take place within community centers and local homes and include one-on-one -on -one conversation and English instruction. So you can see here, as with all of the images that you'll, you have seen and you will continue to see in this presentation, these are travelers with real people in the Dominican Republic. These aren't models or employees. This is all about our genuine, authentic experiences and our travelers, in this case, as you see here, in these families' homes. And this is an activity, again, that our travelers really enjoy because they have that opportunity to truly connect one-on-one -on -one with, with the Dominican people in their homes, in their communities. You do not have to be an English teacher. You do not have to be able to speak English, or sorry, pardon me, Spanish, to be able to interact in these activities. It's all about connecting one-on-one -on -one with the people. And again, all of these locals are engaged grateful and appreciative and so motivated to learn. So it's truly a wonderful experience for all. At Fathom, uh, we also will be involved in local reforestation efforts. We're moving on now to the environment, the environment pillar where we're supporting the local environment. And with our local reforestation efforts, um, they've been designed to improve the livelihoods of the Dominican families, restore degraded land, and contribute to forest and wildlife conservation through the region. Travelers can participate in activities. Oh, pardon me. I was having a little technical difficulty here. One moment. Pardon me there. Um, they'll be able to participate in uh, the simple activities of potting of tree seedlings or transporting plants to assisting local Dominicans with establishing and managing tree nurseries, tree nurseries, pardon me, to cultivation and planting. As I mentioned earlier, in the Dominican Republic alone, more than 2 million people have no access to piped water. So one solution that's already been implemented is the production and distribution of clay water filters, which means far fewer children and adults will miss school or work due to waterborne illnesses. Um, at Fathom, we've partnered with an organization called Wine to Water. And Wine to Water is an or a nonprofit organization um, that has um, I, for lack of a better word, factories uh, worldwide where they create these ceramic water filters that can then be delivered to local families and they will clean water and purify them to be drinking water. And so you can literally take water from a river, from a well, um, from any source and put it into these ceramic water filters um, and it, it will sanitize and clean and filter them so that the families can then have access to clean water. So our travelers are going to have the opportunity uh, to work alongside the established organization of Wine to Water in the entire filter making process, including the delivery process. So that our travelers will have the opportunity to deliver a water filter to a needy family. And this is a life-changing gift and an unforgettable experience. Um, the family you see featured in the slide here was the first Fathom family to receive a water filter from us. And I share this slide with you because it is indicative of the average family in the Dominican Republic that's in need of water, meaning that that's three generations of families living under one household you see here. And now this water filter will be giving access 
to these three generations of one family um, in this household to, to clean water. Again, this is an impact activity that is not only impactful to the recipients of these water filters, but to our travelers to be able to give this life-changing gift. We also have what I like to refer to as, as my favorite um, impact activity, which I spoke of earlier when I was uh, talking about Ciela and the little girl. Um, and this is where we lay cement floors, concrete floors, in people's homes. Fathom travelers are going to have the opportunity to help improve the lives and health of the Dominican people literally from the ground up. In the homes of the poor communities, the common basic dirt floors are a genuine health risk. They pick up dust during the dry season and retain dampness and puddles in the rainy season, resulting in waterborne illnesses and property damage. And actually, it also results in, in students dropping out of school because if you can imagine, night after night when their um, homework gets, gets ruined when, during the rainy season with floods and what have you, they get discouraged and they end up just giving up and they end up dropping out of school. So something as you know, basic as a, a dirt floor, or sorry, a, a floor that perhaps we may take for granted is something life-changing for them that affects so many different aspects of their lives. So every month, homes in a small um, area of the community, a rural area that's actually located near a river where flooding is, is you know, a common issue, uh, we're choosing homes to be upgraded with new concrete floors. So our travelers are going to be um, working alongside the homeowners and other members of the community, including children and teenagers, helping, create, helping them create surroundings uh, they'll be proud to maintain and take care of. And there's something for everyone to do, from shoveling cement to carrying empty buckets. This is not an activity just for the strong and the young Fathom travelers. As I mentioned, I had my nine-year-old daughter with me on this impact activity. I was uh, helping carry uh, the, the, the buckets you see this, this young lady carrying here of cement into the home while my nine-year-old daughter was helping carry the empty ones out. And some of the other travelers were helping shoveling cement. But this was really about um, seeing and being able to support the local families um, by providing them with, with this life-changing gift of, 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 like I say, a floor. You know, I came away from this um, as a mother and um, so very grateful to have had this opportunity with my daughter. She left that impact activity saying to me, I've never thought about having floors before, right? And this is something that for those of you who have children have probably said numerous times as I have is, you know, when they're not finishing their meals and saying, you know, to be grateful for what they have, that there are people who don't perhaps have as much food as they do. That's one thing I've never said is, you know, you're lucky to have a floor. And, and Ciela being able to witness this firsthand and the impact that this will have and the changes this will have in these families is truly a life-changing gift for me as a mother to be able to share that with my daughter. This is a great opportunity to travel with your children, your grandchildren, your spouses, your friends, your coworkers for groups, um, your, your, your church, because you're really able to make a long-term sustainable impact. We have been to the Dominican Republic now, I believe, 14 journeys since we first sailed in April. We've laid concrete floors in more than 30 homes now, which has in directly impacted over 300 people. Uh, we've packaged over 90,000 chocolate bars at El Chocal, at the Women's Cooperative. We've made over 9,000 sh sheets of recycled paper at Repapel. Uh, we've planted over 20,000 seedlings um, in the nurseries and in the forest in, in uh, the Dominican Republic. And all of these cumulative impact numbers are making, um, are, are, are making an impact for the communities and for the people. But the, the impact that we can't measure is the impact that we're having on the people. And, and when I say on the people, I'm talking about the travelers. And this is about every deep travel journey, we reach our ultimate destination. And sailing after sailing, we discover and realize, you know, our true superpower is reaching our greatest human potential together. Over those 14 journeys with, you know, whether that's, you know, excuse me, over 170 people receiving um, new floors and 
uh, I, actually, I have the number in front of me now, the correct number. We have 40 homes that have had new concrete floors, and over 168 students have already reached 10% of the required English, native English interaction to reach English proficiency. This makes a substantial difference. We have 3,650 Dominicans who now have access to safe drinking water. And the, the impact that that has on our travelers is immeasurable. We're all having amazing connections with the people, with the experiences, and coming away from this journey changed forever. And the one thing I always like to share with our travel partners and our travelers is that the Fathom social impact experience and journeys to the Dominican Republic are the highest rated cruise experiences across our corporation. Fathom is the 10th brand to join Carnival Corporation. So some of our sister brands that you'll be familiar with include Holland America Line, Seaborn, Princess, Cunard, P&O UK. The Fathom experience in the Dominican Republic is the highest rated travel experience by our travelers. So that is testament to what an amazing, impactful, transformative journey this is. So I'm going to move into the question and answer portion of the presentation. Some of the most commonly asked questions include, are children allowed? Our child policy is that children have to be a minimum of eight years of age or older at the time of sailing. Minors under 21 must stay in the same cabin with an adult 21 or older. We also um, ask, you know, people ask us about groups and tour conductors or students because it's such a wonderful experience, as I mentioned earlier, to share the group. And we value and reward yourselves, our travel partners and groups with promotional rates throughout the year. From ship to shore, our exceptional amenities and educational programs are ideal for groups seeking to play, learn, and grow closer as they give back. And we welcome and encourage student groups to join us. The minimum age for a student to sail with us is 12 years of age, and we require one adult chaperone for every 10 guests. We have recently changed that. It used to be one adult chaperone for every five. We are changing that for every 10. And our tour conductor ratio is one for nine. So if you book five cabins, you will receive one tour conductor. What about single travelers? This is a common question. Our single supplement rate is 150% and 200% for suites. Our single share program encourages individual travelers. We guarantee at Fathom that if a single traveler requests the same type of cabin, we will be matching, they will be matched with a pricing guarantee that if a suitable roommate is not found, the solo traveler will only pay the per person double occupancy fare, even if the single traveler uh, traveled alone if we're not able to find them a suitable roommate. Another very common question we have is can travelers bring donations? You know, Fathom Journeys are designed to empower lives through programs that leave a lifelong sustainable impact. So we discourage travelers from giving donations that may create unsustainable dependencies. So we do ask for your support in communicating this uh, to your uh, travelers who ask you about whether or not they can bring donations. We simply ask our travelers to come with open hearts and minds and share their time and their love um, with the people and the impact activities that they can participate in. And that's the best way that they can really make an impact in the local community. What about a dress code? I think we talked about that. that it is casual. There are no formal nights. And this is all about being your best self in the sense of being comfortable. So please note, we also have complimentary self-serve laundry services on board. So you don't have to pack a lot of clothes either. You can do your laundry on board. And it's all about being comfortable and being able to make an impact. Uh, common question again, are beverage packages offered? We have amazing onboard cocktail classes, but beverage packages are not offered. And passports, are these required? Passports are not required for US citizens, providing they sleep on board the Adonia every night when we're in the Dominican Republic and not in town. Of course, the Adonia is open 24 seven when we're docked in the Dominican Republic. We leave, the, we leave Miami on a Sunday afternoon at four in the afternoon, 
and we are at sea until Tuesday afternoon. On the Tuesday afternoon, we arrive into the Dominican Republic. We are there all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, and we leave Friday afternoon. So we are there for that full duration of two full days and two half days. And during that time, you are, of course, staying on the Adonia. It's your, your home base. But if you had, for some reason, personal reasons why you wanted to stay ashore or travel on land overnight, you would be required to bring a passport. Um, is there Wi-Fi access on the ship? We offer a range of Wi-Fi packages separately priced per day, depending on your wireless needs. So we're going to move into the sales resources and promotion portion of the presentation. You can reach our call center to make a reservation at one eight. 55932-8466, which is 18559-FATHOM. I also encourage you to visit our travel professional portal. The site is listed here. It's fathom.org forward slash travel professional portal. And there you will have access to an image and video library, customizable flyers, travel professional appreciation fairs, and much more. So please do visit our travel, travel professional portal. I'd also like to bring to your attention our inaugural season promotional fair. We have amazing rates out in the marketplace right now to encourage uh, yourselves as our travel partners to uh, promote Fathom and for our client or prospective clients to experience Fathom. The applicable sailing dates are December 4th through May 21st of 2017. We encourage you to take advantage of these rates that start from $2.99 per person. For interior cabins, $4.49 per person for outside cabins, $5.99 per person for balcony cabins, and $9.99 per person for suites. Travel, or taxes, fees, and port expenses are additional, and they range and vary by sailing from $121 to $208 per person. There's an amazing promotion we have right now as well, that if you book by November 30th, you will receive a complimentary upgrade from an inside to an outside. So in essence, you can book any Dominican Republic cruise between now and the end of May for $2.99 per person for an ocean view cabin. And let us not forget, you also receive as a travel partner a $75 bonus commission per person for all of these rates. So that allows you to earn a maximum of $150 bonus commission for each of these rates, and the traveler also has a 50% reduced deposit opportunity. The reduced deposit is $150. Final payment is due at 90 days prior to sailing. So they can sail to the Dominican Republic for seven days round trip Miami for $2.99 per person between now and the end of May for an outside cabin and you will earn $150 bonus commission for that rate. Now, what's really important here is yourselves. I'd like you to experience uh, Fathom firsthand so you can truly understand how transformative this journey is. So we have an opportunity on December the 4th. We have a new travel agent fair that hasn't even been released yet. You're the first to hear about this. It's $99 per person plus taxes, which are $124.87. And this will give you the best available category, excluding suites. But you can get a balcony for this cabin if you book this week. You may bring a non-travel agent guest with you. And the travel agent non-travel agent guest will also pay the $99 per person. The application form will be loaded on our portal. Or you can email us at salesupport at fathom.org. Please take note of this email address because this is um, the best email address for you to access information and have any questions answered that you may have related to Fathom. Space is limited and gratuities um, are $80.50 per person for the week. We also um, have a wonderful contest today regarding uh, December the 4th. So if you, if you um, answer the question correctly, which we'll be sharing with you shortly, you will have the opportunity to sail for free on December the 4th. So if you're able to travel on December the 4th to the Dominican Republic, 
please get ready to answer the skill testing question because we will be having you join us on board as our guest. You will only be responsible for paying the taxes of 124.87 and the gratuities. So um, before we get into that, we're going to go into the question and answer period and then we will announce the question and the winners of the complimentary cruise. For those of you who don't win though, please ensure you connect with us at sales support at fathom.org to request the application form to sail on December the 4th with us. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Michelle. That was absolutely fantastic and inspiring. Uh, Fathom is really doing wonderful work in connecting passengers with uh, with these uh, social impact activities in the Dominican Republic. It's just really quite inspiring. We have several questions. We'll get to as many as we can, but um, agents out there do note the sales support at fathom.org email address if we don't get to your question or if you think of something after the webinar is over, uh, please email your question to that address and uh, they can point you in the right direction. So let's get started with some of these questions and we will leave enough time for the prize giveaway at the end. Um, Several of our agents want to know if this cruise is and the and the cruise and the activities are appropriate for people with mobility issues. That's a great question, and I and I'm sorry I didn't address that in my presentation. Absolutely, and we have had uh, numerous travelers join us that have mobility issues, and they've been able to participate in many of our impact activities, including the English learning, as well as the women's cooperatives and uh, the water filter uh, making process. Well, the only two activities where I would say that mobility issues would be a challenge would be the reforestation and the concrete floor uh, impact activities. Okay, excellent. Um, do passengers choose which activities they want to do before the cruise or do they sign up on board or how does that work? Great question. We have a journey planner which is part of the online check-in that our travelers complete pre-cruise, just as they would um, their online check-in with any other cruise line, they can select their impact activities before they join us. Um, if they're not sure what impact activities they'd like to participate in, they can also do so on board. And as I mentioned earlier, the three impact activities are included in the price of the cruise. Fantastic, thank you. Um... What about people who uh, may not be interested in participating in the social impact activities if there are grandparents traveling with uh, families or um, spouses who, uh, who would rather spend their time doing other things? How do you approach that and are there other things for them to be doing? Absolutely, great question. And, and what's important to fathom is that everything is organic, meaning that everyone participates in what they'd like to participate in. So there is no pressure or obligation to participate in a certain number of activities or in any of the activities. There's a number of different things to do while we're in the Dominican Republic. We have optional shore excursions. Uh, we are in Amber Cove for the duration of our stay, which is a, is a beautiful playground, you know, pools, um, water slides, restaurants, bars. Um, and we're close to the center of town of Puerto Plata, where travelers can take a taxi and explore um, the local town. And, but I must tell you and share with you that we have had travelers who come, and perhaps, as you mentioned, one of the spouses may not be interested or the grandparents. And I want to say almost across the board, all of these quote, un end of quote, uninterested travelers end up participating once they start hearing the stories of the travelers coming back at dinner time, of the impact experiences and connections they're having, and they end up sometimes being the most transformed travelers we have. I have a great story of one of our traveler par travel partners shared with me who was on our cruise, and there was a gentleman who had booked the cruise because it was such a great offer and he saw a seven-day cruise to the Dominican Republic for two ninety nine, He didn't quite understand what he had booked in terms of what the mission of Fathom is. And, you know, he was perhaps stereotypically not your typical impact traveler. Um, he, he was a little rough around the edges and, you know, a little, um, how shall I say, someone you might see on a, on a Harley Davidson. 
And by the end of the cruise, this traveler was at the dinner table, shedding tears, sharing his stories of how he'd connected um, during the student English learning impact activity with the children. So I've yet to see someone leave a Fathom cruise or hear of a traveler who's left a Fathom cruise and not participated. But again, there's no pressure on board whatsoever, um, and there's definitely plenty to do. Fantastic. One of our agents wants to know if there's any problem eating and drinking the water when you're on in the Dominican Republic, not on the ship. A great question. So all of our impact activities are guided by our facilitators on the ground that are um, two local established organizations, Edie and Entrena, who've been on the ground for more than two decades. And their facilitators are accompanying all of our travelers on all the impact activities. And part of um, accompanying our travelers is ensuring they have access to clean bottled water and also snacks, which they bring from the ship. So they will have access to those, um, to those items. Fantastic. Uh, we'll go with two more short questions and then we'll get to the prize giveaway. Uh, when you, uh, if agents want to uh, book a group, is there blocked space? They, do they block space or do they set, uh, sell into availability and they're linked at a later time? Great question. So we have two options. Um, if you're on Polar online, you can book Fathom on Polar. So if you're already registered to sell any of our sister brands, uh, then you will already be able to book Fathom in, in Polar. From the drop-down menu, you'll see us listed there. So you can block your group space through Polar, or you can call our call center at one 855 fathom to block group space. Um, and if you're part of a consortium that may have uh, taken group space at the headquarter level, you can do that as well. Okay, and thank you to um, all of our travel agents who have noticed that there's a bit of a typo, Michelle, in the email address, sales support. Support seems to have three Ps in it, in this email address. Well, there you go. You see? <laughs> no. So thank you to everyone who has mentioned that thank in you. the questionnaire. I'm um, sure Michelle will take and care. Let me, let me just clarify this. So when I was typing that, you know, when you type an email address, it changes the color to blue. And no matter what I did, it would not change it back to white. So I had to make a space. And I guess when I made a space, I probably put an extra P instead. So <laughs> thank you for all of you who are paying such close attention. That, that pleases me. You're, you're reading the screen. Um, and I will correct that for the next presentation. And people are writing it down because they do have quite a few other questions. Uh, and our last quick question is, can you book a back-to-back -back cruise to hit both the Dominican Republic and Cuba in a couple of weeks? You know what? That's a wonderful question. And it's kind of, it, the answer is yes. But let me explain that. So there's a few different options we have here. So if you were booking a, let's say, a Cuba cruise, um, you are able to add on a Dominican Republic cruise. We actually have a special offer for those who book a Cuba cruise. We have a discounted fare um, for the Dominican Republic cruise, which starts at $199 per person to add on the Dominican Republic portion. And then if you have a Dominican Republic cruise booked and you want to go to Cuba, depending on the sailing, some of our Cuba sailing dates are sold out. Um, we do have back-to-back -back offers. We also have the opportunity for travelers to book to stay on board. So there are actually some travelers who will be on board with us for a week and get so excited about what they're doing and seeing that they want to stay on board for the following cruise. So they can book while they're on board, and you as their travel agent will receive the commission credit for that. So all the bookings that we do on board, you will receive credit for that, whether they stay on board or they book for a future cruise date as well. And um, before we move into the question for the complimentary cruise, I just want to remind you to, to visit our travel agent portal. We will have access, you will have access, pardon me, to all the resources that you'll need here. So there are customizable flyers. All the travel agent rates are listed there with the application forms. Um, the, you can order brochures as well from here. And um, we have an image library. So if you're putting things on, on your website, you can access that there, and that's fathom.org forward slash travel professional portal. And I'll, I'll put this up on the screen right here so you can have access to that again. Our call center is based in Seattle, so we work off of Pacific Standard um, Time. So that's 6 a.m. through to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
and that's one eight five five nine fathom. So again, if you can travel on December the fourth to the Dominican Republic, please make sure you're ready to answer the next skill testing question. And the top three um, individuals who respond who can travel on December the 4th will win the complimentary cruise and we will email you details. For those of you who can travel and do not win, please join us for that compelling $99 rate. As I mentioned, it has not been sent out uh, to the travel agent community yet. So once it does, um, the space will fill. So please email us at sales support at fathom.org if you'd like to join us for that $99 rate so we can get that to you before we send it out to our entire database. Fantastic. And Michelle, for the prize uh, uh, cabins, the three that you're giving away for December 4th, are these Ocean View cabins? These are balcony cabins. Thank balcony. you for bringing that to my attention. Yes, Wonderful. these are three balcony cabins uh, for December the 4th through the 11th. Uh, to the Dominican Republic round trip Miami. Fantastic. Well, we certainly appreciate Fathom's generosity. So here, how, here's how it's going to work, agents. Uh, Michelle is going to ask her question. And the first three correct answers I see come across my screen will be the winners. We'll announce the names. And please, only if you can uh, sail on December 4th. Uh, Michelle's not giving away cabins today for a different date. So if you can sail on December 4th, um, please do enter this contest. Uh, we will be checking the answers, double checking after the webinar is over to make sure we got the correct answers. And uh, Michelle will be contacting you um, after the webinar if your answer is indeed correct. And um, uh, we'll let you know about the uh, uh, details for how to claim your cruise. So with that, Michelle, we're going to clear the board here, and uh, whenever you're ready, go ahead and ask your question, and as soon as I can verify we have three correct answers, I'll jump back in and let you know. So take it away, Michelle. Okay. So today we talked about the Dominican Republic and our social impact cruises to Puerto Plata, and we talked about how there are eight impact activities that our travelers can choose from. So the question today is, can you please name three of those impact activities that our travelers can choose from? There were a total of eight, but you only need to name three of them, please. Now, this is when I wish I knew the Jeopardy like song so I could sing this while you guys are typing, but I don't. I can hear it in my head, but I don't think you guys want to hear me sing in it. Okay, so we have many answers coming in. Now, Michelle, do you want specifics or you want general categories? So we talked about the three core pillars of economic development, education, and environment. The question is, you need to name three impact activities under those three pillars. Okay, excellent. And we do have many answers coming in, so I'm just making a note of them. Okay, we have our winners. And again, we will be double checking these answers to make sure that uh, your answers are correct. Um, and Michelle will be contacting you. So um, the three winners who were first across my screen are as follows. Kimberly Barber, Erica Crocker, and Paula Aquazap. And I apologize if I'm misspelling or mispronouncing your names. Um, but Kimberly, Erica, and Paula, uh, you are the winners of the free cruise cabin, balcony cabin on the December 4th sailing. Congratulations. And we will be passing this information along to Michelle. She will be uh, contacting you after the webinar. Uh, our guest today has been Michelle Sutter, Director of Trade Sales for Fathom Travel. Michelle, as always, this has been fantastic. Thank you so very much for this wonderful webinar. Thank you to all of you, and uh, congratulations to Kim, Erica, and Paula. I'll be connecting with you today, and thank you for taking the time, all of you, for uh, to learn more about Fathom and our social impact cruises to the Dominican Republic. 
And I want to add my thanks to everybody. We really appreciate your taking the time to be with us today. And we will see you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.